Hey everyone, so the Fed just lowered interest rates. And what that means for us as investors is that dividend stocks are more attractive, especially high yield dividend stocks. Well, today I'm gonna share with you my top high yield dividend stock to buy now, and that is Kinder Morgan. Okay, let's talk about the impact of lower interest rates on dividend stocks because lower interest rates increase the desirability of dividend stocks. The Federal Reserve has recently lowered interest rates. They're probably going to continue to cut interest rates and those lower interest rates reduced the cost of capital. And what that means is that that can increase the return on investment for capital intensive projects benefiting companies like Kinder Morgan. And Kinder Morgan's ticker, by the way, is KMI. Now, Kinder Morgan has made a lot of financial improvements. Let's just real briefly look at some of those financial improvements. And then I wanna talk about some of the capital investment opportunities that Kinder Morgan has in the future. So if you're interested in investing in Kinder Morgan, this video, guys, is gonna be chock full of good information for you. Um, that's up to date, current, recent stuff that I've been pulling from the internet. All right, so here we go. Number one, their balance sheet has been strengthening since 2014, 2015, when the oil and gas had a big downturn. Kinder Morgan has focused on rebuilding its balance sheet, restoring investor confidence. Here's just two of their big achievements. They reduced their total net long-term debt by 29% over the last nine years and they've lowered their debt to capital or DC ratio to 51%, which is one of the lowest in its peer group. Now, Kinder Morgan's high interest expense does remain a concern. Just look at this, $1.85 billion in interest expenses over the last 12 months. Their capital expenditures were $2.5 billion. Their dividends uh, amounted to $2.54 billion. And here's the thing, guys. Lower interest rates could allow for refinancing or taking on new debt at cheaper rates, reducing the interest burdens on Kinder Morgan. Now, let's talk real quick about those capital investment opportunities that Kinder Morgan has. And then we gotta talk about the dividends, guys, because that's huge for this company. All right, so first of all, core business model has always been for Kinder Morgan infrastructure development. Kinder Morgan invests in building infrastructure like pipelines, terminals, storage facilities. All of that is generating future cash flow. Their lower capital costs can justify more capital intensive projects. Here's some key areas of growth, guys. First of all, liquefied natural gas, or LNG. The US is a leading LNG exporter, and the global LNG market expands Kinder Morgan's buyer pool. Number two, biofuels. Infrastructure is needed to meet growing demand for biofuels like natural gas, diesel, and other renewable sources like seed oils and landfill gas. Number three, big opportunity, guys, is data centers and AI. AI-driven demand for electricity offers potential growth through supplying energy to data centers. And number four, got to have natural gas for transportation. Natural gas biofuels currently make up less than 10% of transportation energy, presenting growth potential for Kinder Morgan's in infrastructure investments. Now guys, I know y'all came to the video because you want to talk about dividends. This is, after all, a high yield dividend stock. So let's talk about it. Kinder Morgan offers a 5.3% dividend yield. That's higher than the 10 year treasury rate at 3.7%. That's higher than the Vanguard Energy ETF at 3%. That's obviously higher than the S&P 500 at an, at an average of only 1.3%. So yeah. 5.3% dividend yield, that's huge. And they are committed to a gradual growth in their dividend payments. Despite some smaller dividend increases recently, Kinder Morgan remains focused, guys, on long-term dividend yield. And the high yield dividend stocks, this is what you gotta understand. They're more attractive in low rate environments. So low 
risk-free rates like treasuries make dividend stocks like Kinder Morgan more appealing to income-focused investors. Now, when we look at the growth opportunities for Kinder Morgan, let's talk about the high US oil and gas production. Increasing demand for the fuels that Kinder Morgan handles strengthens its growth outlook. But we've got to balance growth with shareholder commitments. Kinder Morgan has to ensure that the capital investments do not undermine its capital commitments, including their dividends. And so what I would do is continue to monitor, guys. If you're an investor, monitor the data center energy needs that's driven by AI, because that's gonna play into it. Monitor the role of LNG infrastructure in meeting global energy demands. Monitor the progress in the energy transition, low carbon fuel initiatives. All of that is gonna be huge for Kinder Morgan. But here's the thing, guys. Kinder Morgan, when you put it all together, they offer a dual appeal. They're a solid dividend stock, but they've got substantial growth potential. And those lower interest rates, they're just enhancing the opportunities. Lower capital costs will help Kinder Morgan explore new growth avenues while continuing to generate passive income for us as investors. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, leave a big thumbs up, a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel, guys, for more videos like this. And guys, every single week, I'm posting a video about a stock that I bought, okay? So I post a video every day, but once a week, I'm highlighting a specific stock in the series, why I just bought on this channel. So you wanna subscribe so you're not missing any of that content, guys. And leave a comment down below, let me know what you think about Kendra Morgan. All right, guys, y'all have a great day, and I will see you again tomorrow with another video.